let's open control panel you can open it from Windows X menu or you can click on start menu and search for the control panel let's search for it on Windows 10 and then select the first entry of control panel then click on troubleshooting you might need to change the view to small icons or large, large icons and then <coughs> open troubleshooting from the left pane select view all and then from the list of available applications select Windows Update. Now you'll be presented with the wizard uh, for troubleshooting. Uh, fill the wizard and uh, apply the fix. As soon as you click next it will ask you to try the troubleshooting steps. Uh, it will auto detect the issue and it will try to fix uh, that issue. So once it's find a solution it will give you an option to start the application uh, with the applied fix. So let's wait for that. let's click on apply this fix so it will try to fix the issue uh, with the found fix once it's done close the troubleshooter and then restart your computer once we started check for the windows updates now a second solution is to uh, ensure all the services are running so press windows and R key to open the run and then write down services.msc hit ok in the services window locate and right click on the windows update service and open its properties in the properties and uh, general tab uh, we need to change the startup type to automatic and make sure the service is running and it's not stopped if you found it stopped just click on start and then click on apply and then ok the next service is background intelligent transfer service which is bits locate and right click on the service and open its properties we'll do the same uh, startup type to automatic and if the service is stopped we need to start it and then apply and OK the third one is cryptographic service here it is let's open its properties so the cryptographic service to automatic startup again and if it is stopped we need to start it click on apply and then OK now we need to restart the computer and then we'll see if the updates are working The third solution is to right click the start menu and open command prompt admin or powershell admin whatever the option is available and then we need to run all of these commands one by one. The first one is to uh, stop the update service so we'll, write, we'll type net space stop space w u a u s e r v Type the command and press enter and wait for the service to get stopped. command is net stop cryptographic service short form is CRYPTSVC the third, third one is net stop bits the next one is net stop MSI server the next 
next one is to rename the software distribution folder. The command is rem space c column backslash windows backslash software distribution space software distribution dot old and we'll also rename the cat root 2 folder the command is rem c column backslash windows backslash system 32 backslash cat root 2 space cat root dot old it will rename the folder to cat root 2 dot old once both of these directories are renamed will start all the services that we just stopped so if you get any access denied message you need to make sure that you have ran the uh, you have executed the command prompt or the powershell in an elevated mode like right click on command prompt or the powershell and then select uh, run as administrator so let's rename both of these directories once done we'll start the services in the following order first one is the windows update service then cryptographic service then bits and then msi server so let's wait and restart these services Once you have started all the services, don't forget to restart your computer. Once the computer restarts, check if the windows are now getting updates. I hope this, will, this video will help you. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe our channel. Thank you.